Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arno with the Stock Swish and reviewing the market today. I think this is going to be a rough week for the market. The reason I say that is because it started out rough or it ended rough last week on Friday when you had the QQQs down, uh, the Qs gap down, and you had the SPY gapping up. That was because the banks were up. They're not up this morning. And then you also had the diamonds that were up as well. So usually the three indices work together, go together, gap together, trade together. That didn't happen on Friday. It made for a sloppy trading day. We were sideways most of the week. I still see that that way as well. Uh, this important piece of legislation that they're looking at passing this week, the infrastructure bill, which I, do, I can't say for certain how the market's gonna react to that, but I think the market is gonna react to that. I think it's gonna have a reaction. The reaction could be positive in a big way, or the reaction could be negative in a big way. And so we have to wait and see. It's not gonna happen today um, that it passes. It could be as early as Tuesday or Wednesday, but it will happen this weekend. And I think that's the big thing on top for the market this week. Again, the problem is you don't have these things looking the same. Again, this morning, spies down this morning, and yet the queues are up. Not up a lot, but they're up a little bit. We're right off the highs and market's been strong. I think it's about selective picks, picking stocks to short that are weak and picking stocks to go long that are strong. When you do that, you can't go wrong, but you have to look at the gap. That's exactly what I do. So I'm gonna be extremely picky this week. Not that I normally am not. For those of you that don't know what I do, I get up in the morning and I rate gaps and I only do gaps of rate 20 points or more per my own personal 26 point rating system, which is what I teach in the Golden Gap course. But I think we're gonna have some good trades this week. I think we're gonna have some good day trades, some good options trades, but there's no question about it that to get the follow through, even in the last, I'd say two weeks, you've really had to pick the right things because the market has been stagnant. If you've been looking for things with the market, you haven't been getting the plays because the market really hasn't wanted to go anywhere. Again, we've been in a tight range. This is the range. I mean, again, we're stuck in the range again today. And when you look at it, we're like, wait a minute, this is two weeks going on three weeks. I think we're gonna do something this week. I do not think we're gonna trade in this range the whole rest of the week from now until Friday. I'll be watching it. Again, looking for selective things. Be careful out there. I do think we're gonna have volatility this week. What does that mean? It means for good trading, if you can get it in the right direction. But you gotta pay attention to your trades. You gotta book profits when you're up and you gotta watch what the market's doing. Good luck everyone and have a great week.